Hello my beautiful souls and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I thought I would share with you how you can style rib dresses for the current season that we are in. So if you are interested please stay tuned. The first rib dress is from ASOS and I have styled it with a khaki trench from River Island and Converse's. The trench is just short of the dress which adds a light layered effect and the Converse matches the shade of the dress. I've also added a gold necklace to elevate the style of the dress. Most people tie the trench belt at the front, but I have tied it round the back to achieve a slimmer fit around the waist. Keeping with the clean, neutral feel of this look, I've added my structured acrylic handle bag from Lamarth for a chick feel. The second dress is from H&M. I love the long sleeves and slightly scalloped detail at the end of the dress, which adds a nice element of movement when I walk. I've paired this look with a tan belt and ankle boots from Zara. Having both the belt and boots in the same shade create a healthy balance and also helps to break up the solid black color. You can use a statement belt, but I feel a thinner style works best here as a complement and the small gold details create another subtle element without overpowering the whole look. Finish off the look with some stylish ankle boots. These have a kitten heel so they are comfortable to wear and look gorgeous at the same time. As you know, I prefer boots that have a slightly squared mouth for a more modern look. The third dress is from Zara. What sold this piece for me is the gathered or ruched tailoring seen on the right hand side of the dress. I'm all about the finer details, so this effect to me really takes a normal bodycon dress to a whole new level. The dress can be worn to work, a dinner date, or a special occasion. I've thrown on a smart white coat, also from Zara, and boots from Manga. Even though rib dresses are for winter, the whole look feels modern and fresh due to the neutral shades of the pieces. And the style of the coat really adds to the sophistication of the whole outfit. To finish off the look, I've thrown on these boots from Mango. The heel is slightly chunky and again it has the square toe style that I much prefer. When choosing a coat, try to include a unique feature such as this funnel neck shown in this clip. Add some gold accessories to bring some life to the look and your outfit is now complete. The fourth dress is from New Look and it is beautiful. It's your little black dress but for winter so it's a wardrobe staple. This is so comfortable to wear and it will keep you nice and warm. 
What more is there to say except it is a classic? The style of dress is called Bardock Bodycon and it hugs your figure in all the right places. For all of the items I've added links to the actual clothes or something similar down below for you so do check them out. The sleeves stop halfway so you can display your jewellery or roll them up like I have if you want to. For a pop of colour I've added these yellow mule style heels which I brought in summer but you can mix and match the seasons when done correctly. I haven't really done much to jazz up this dress as it's doing a lot on its own already. Here I'm showing you a few close-ups of the barda or off-the-shoulder style of the dress which I think looks so alluring and you can adjust the dress to your liking. For the final part of this look, I've added some healed muse in a pastel yellow, which is a fun way to inject a bit of colour into the look, while still keeping everything fresh and modern. The fifth dress is from Zara. Now this dress was very see-through so I popped on a black slip, also known as a petticoat, to make the dress modest as not everything needs to be on display. Cream and black contrast each other really nicely so along with the jacket and boots I chose a bag in a different colour just to create another element and all three colours really complement each other well. This look can be worn to the office, an evening out with the girls or another special occasion. I love the subtle cutout details in the jacket and think the ankle boots work really well to complete the look. These leather boots are from H&M. The heel is squared off which to me is very unique. I find ankle boots work well for me as I have really petite legs and I'm not keen on wearing tights but you can always swap the boots for heels if you prefer. The sixth and final dress is also from New Look. I absolutely love the length of the dress and the chain detail by the neck is just so simple and so effective it makes a statement in itself. To me the style of the dress is more dressed up so I've styled it with a pair of black pointed heels from ASOS to keep everything looking classy. This all black combo is such a classic and I've tied my hair back so the attention goes to the cutout section of the dress first. This dress is more jersey material but it still has the rib style. The only downside to this is that it may not trap in much heat so you could add a long tailored coat or a cardigan just to provide some layers but ensure the colours and materials match so the look can be seamless throughout. And as you can see in this clip the gold chain detail really steals the show and it's almost as if you're wearing a necklace so there's no need to add any extra jewellery. So we have come to the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed the content and me showing you how I style rib dresses for the current season. Please consider subscribing, give the video a like, check out the links below and I will see you in my next one.